Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of History Deja Vu, a segment we host here on That Was History. My name is Cliff Langston, and today we're going to take a quick look at the 2013 government shutdown situation that happened in America, as well as a few others we've had in the past. Check it out. The 2013 government shutdown has been all over the news for a while now, but it can get a bit confusing. If you're unfamiliar, a government shutdown is what the executive branch of government must enter into if Congress creates a funding gap when they fail to pass legislation that would fund government operations and agencies. If appropriations are not settled on, the United States Constitution and the Anti-Deficiency Act make it clear that the federal government must begin shutting down the affected activities. As you have probably already witnessed, the longer the shutdown continues, the more people are negatively affected. What makes this particular shutdown interesting is Obamacare, technically known as the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act. Republicans are looking to defund Obamacare because they are opposed to it, while Democrats are unwavering in their will to make it happen. Republicans argue that Obamacare will make it impossible for private companies to compete with the government, thus making one more thing that the government controls. Don't forget that the government can be a monopoly just as easily as a private company company. Study your history on monopolies and you will see how this can be perceived as unfair. On the flip side, the Democrats' selling point is that everyone will be covered regardless of health condition. From a moral standpoint, that would be great. Everyone would be taken care of and never be denied coverage. I would like to argue that we have never lived in a utopian society though. Something has to give and Dave Ramsey has a great video that explains how all of this will pan out if Obamacare is passed. This isn't a political issue at all, it's simply a matter of understanding a little 8th grade math. I encourage you to use the link in the description to watch his video and understand the math behind it all. Anyways, the recent shutdown has come to a temporary end with the signing of the Continuing Appropriations Act that was put into place on October 16th of 2013. So while we are waiting for that to settle, let's take a little bit of time to look at the shutdowns from the past. According to history, government shutdowns are not an uncommon thing. During the Ford and Carter administrations, gaps in funding resulted in six partial shutdowns that affected the Department of Labor, as well as health, education, and welfare. Between 8 to 18 days in length, the primary issue for these shutdowns was federal funding for abortion. While abortions are legal today, this still continues to be an issue amongst various parties in the United States. During the Reagan administration, there were eight funding gaps, with downtimes lasting less than 48 hours or over weekends while negotiations could be agreed upon. The majority of these shutdowns included the Democrats wanting less appropriations for military aid or military development, more specifically the MX missile. A funding gap during the George H.W. Bush administration also caused a weekend shutdown when the Democrats did not propose a deficit reduction program in their proposal. This was later resolved the following Monday when deficit reduction solutions were added. During the Clinton administration, there were two full government shutdowns, lasting five days and 21 days, becoming the longest and most severe shutdown to that date. These shutdowns led to massive furloughs and significant disruption with the primary issue of debate being the United States budget deficit. So as you can see, this is apparently a normal thing that occurs within the American government. Has anything strange happened to you yet as a result of the shutdown we've been dealing with recently? Tell us your funny story in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching this episode of That Was History. If you enjoyed the discussion, be sure to share it with your friends and give us a thumbs up. That's going to do it for my time today, but I will see you back here next week.